Hello everyone, ahlan bikum. This is Beher and this is easy and simple Arabic learning. Uh, today we'll uh, go through some uh, greeting wor greetings words uh, in reading and writing. Uh, and to read some other words uh, containing similar letter letters to what which we learned. So let's start with Sabah al khir. Good morning. Sabah al khir. This is how it's written. And again, Arabic is from right to left. All letters are connected except some letters that do connect with the letters before, but not letters after. And we will we'll get through that uh, by experience and by different words we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have in our uh, different videos. So, Sabah al khir. First letter here is Saad. Saad and it's pronounced like S in the word Sam. So, Saad. Second letter is B. And uh, it's like B. Third one is Alif. It's pronounced like A. And the last letter here in the word Sabah is the uh, Ha. And it's pronounced like H but it em emerges from the throat like if you're cl clearing your throat or coughing it's sabah sabah alif we had it lam so both together are l l and it's like the in english kha kha at most like l kh this is the kha Yeh, yeh, and here it's pronounced like e, al khi, and the last word, letter is re, and pronounced like r. So sabah al khir. Yeah, please notice here two things. First, for the b and the yeh, they are both like similar in shape. But one dot underneath is uh, like B, and two dots is like a Y or sometimes I or EI here. So uh, the letters are different from how many dots they have. And also, we have some dots, uh, different dots location for this letter. Uh, it's here like L. Uh, uh, kh, but in some other uh, words like without dot like here it's ha so we'll go through that uh, in details one by one uh, the reply for masa al khir that's masa it's like from after from noon till night masa al khir and the reply is masa al nur this is the letter mean, pronounced like M. This is seen, pronounced like S, in the word seem. Remember, sod, it was S like in the word sum. This is S like in the word seem. Alif, Hamza. Hamza is, is like you're pronouncing A with a sudden stop. So, like Masa, Masa. So, Masa. Al, Alif, Lam. You see this shape of letter? It's the same as we had it before with Sabah al Khir, but with one dot over it. So this is Noon, Noon, pronounced like N in English. This is Wow, this is Wow. So like O or double O. And this is R, we had it before. Also, notice uh, two things here, the uh, A or the Aleph, it doesn't connect with letters after it. Uh, the same applied for the Wow and R as well. But it's here at the end of the word, but if it's the middle of the word, it doesn't connect with letters after it. So this is Masa Al Nur. Masa Al Nur. This is like a reply back for good afternoon or good evening or good night. 
Okay, let's go uh, in the writing exercise. So I will use my mouse. It would not be that accurate, but it will show you the directions of writing those letters. So sod. This is sod. B. This is B. One dot. Alif. Does it connect with letter after? And ha. Sabah. Alif. Lam. And here the alif didn't connect with the lam. Does it connect with any letter? After it. This is ha with one dot over it. Ye with two dots under it and re like R. So this is Sabah Al Khir. Okay, let's try the other one. Masa al Nur. The letter Mim and Sin all connected together. Alif doesn't connect with the letter after it. Hamza Masa Alif Lam Al N N with one dot over it, the noon. Wow and no and does it connect with the letter after it? Re Masa Al Nur. Okay, so let's now from what we learned, can you say or uh, like pronounce those those uh, words? We'll go through them one by one. So this is it's, it's like uh, the translation is fire. So can you guess how to pronounce it? Would that make it a little bit easier? The letters are. Uh, here in the Masa and Noor. Okay, let's make it more easy. So the A and N and R, or the Alif and Noon and Re, they are here. Start with the Noon. So this is N and Alif, Na and Re, Re. So, nar, nar, and that means fire. Nar means fire. Uh, Read that and get the letter, the word after it. Can you read this one? So we'll, we'll get the letters uh, from the Masa and Nur. So this is first one is seen or not like pronounced like S. Second and last one is re and here it's pronounced like R and the middle one is wow pronounced like O. So it's surur surur is happiness surur. And the one after it, it means ladder or stairs, they have the same one. I think this would be easier. So this is seen, like here S, this is lame, like here. You notice it's connected with the letter before and after. And this is meme, this is when it comes at the end of the word, this is me. So, Selim. Selim. So, Selim means ladder or stairs. Both are uh, called Selim in, in Arabic. Okay. This one. Can you guess the the uh, uh, how to pronounce it? So this is sod. Here it is. Like in the word sum. So and this is 
الف so صاد and الف and ح this is ح when it connect to the letter after this is ح when it comes at the end of the the word so صا and this is ب ب also this is ب how does it look when it comes at the end of the word and here how does it look when it come in the middle of the word so صاحب 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 means friend صاحبي my friend for a male صاحبتي my friend for a female صاحب okay let's get the second word this should be easy it's b alif b so bab bab and bab means door bab means door من فضلك افتح الباب يعني please open the door افتح open door باب so open the door افتح الباب The last word we have here. Can you try it? So this is B. Lam. Ha. B like here. From صباح. Lam here. And ha. Balah. 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 It's a teat. أنا أكلت بلح I ate ديت بلح ديت ده food of course بلح uh, okay now uh, this is uh, I hope you uh, you like those uh, uh, reading and writing exercises uh, thank you for your time today and I will continue uh, like uh, making uh, videos part for speaking and another part for reading and writing uh, I'm trying my best to make it uh, like simple and short uh, appreciate your time today and uh, have a great uh, day everyone